All right, hello and welcome back to Arma. Uh, today we're going to pretty much do an example of a mission building because uh, I am pretty much making a mission for tonight, so I thought why not. A uh, mission is going to be on uh, Stratus, as you can see on this uh, small office that I have. And let's uh, press Y to go into the Zeus module. Now, uh, pretty much what we're doing in here on Altis as uh, two wave is uh, we've started out uh, with like a spawn uh, on the ocean and we're kind of slowly closing in uh, on the uh, island and kind of doing a conquest thing. Uh, last time I believe they uh, captured Camp Tempest and uh, we already own Camp Maxwell, we kind of defended it, but we do not have Air Station Mike 26, which is what we're going to do today. So uh, kind of the borderline is going to be passing something like here, including the uh, Tsukala Bay. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Um, now I'm going to do a quick setup. Uh, as you can see, this is already set up for the map. This is like the main base. I don't really have to worry anything about it. Um, just so that it's quickly uh, populated, although that's something I tend to do at the last part, but let's do it anyway. Uh, we're gonna do something like this. Uh, now when I place a squad and give it a, uh, a garrison building, then it will uh, garrison it pretty far. I don't know if I said it in tutorial or not. For some reason, uh, it will garrison a fire team uh, in the same building and a squad in like, it will spread it out. Which is a good thing for me in this instance, because I want to spread these guys out so I can uh, man these turrets. Uh, the guys that I don't really like their positions, I'm going to move to different positions. Uh, that way this base will pretty much... It, it, the only thing it has to be is look command. Uh, I want to give the guys a realistic atmosphere when they come in here. So uh, they'll get like the idea that uh, NATO is manning this position. We're going to leave one guy here, and we're going to have one guy in the uh, middle here, maybe. Now, I want them all t uh, to be standing, be relaxed. There you go. Alright, so this is the NATO base. That is fine. For this mission, it's going to be a more intense mission today. I'm going to give them a couple of vehicles. Um, so let's see what selection I want to give them. Uh, probably should give them some APCs uh, in order to be able to attack that base properly and they should be pretty carefully using them anyway uh, so let's give them one Namer type APC uh, we can put it here yeah why not let's put it in here uh, and we're gonna replace the um, this one we're gonna replace it with an armed HMG one because why the hell not? And what I do want to do today is also help them uh, with uh, maybe involving a chopper. Uh, so what we're going to do is place a uh, helipad somewhere here. Uh, helipads are under signs. Helipads. Let's do a square. Uh, square, I said. Uh, the problem is finding a flat area in this kind of beachhead. Uh, which is not 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 an easy thing uh, and this is too tight I believe uh, we'll do it from you know what uh, we'll have the chopper support coming from uh, from here for Camp Maxwell so we do have a little pad already here so we're gonna place an empty bird here and they will be manning it with their own people so let's put down um, well, I want to do, I want to give them the option of having a Comanche system. So let's put a Comanche here. And we're going to place another helipad, uh, same exact type. And we're going to place a, uh, a little bird just for uh, EVAX. This is the non-armed variety. So uh, for Medivax, and uh, if I remember correctly, last time I had a tower here, cargo tower. So let's have a cargo tower, uh, military tower, military here. This should be a cargo green, military green cargo tower. There we go. All right. Yeah, not in the air. Thank you. 
Okie doke. This is kind of fine. Uh, the trees are kind of annoying me. Let's do this. This is good. This is good. Okay, yeah. And now we're going to make this cargo tower a medical facility. We're going to put a couple of crates, medical crates in it. Because uh, I want this to be where they uh, medivac in case they need to. So let's put like two medical crates. And bring them up into the tower. Nope, that it's not into the tower at all. It's exactly not what I said. Uh, hello? There we go. That's into the tower. Alright. Takes a while to be able to control these things. Uh, let's move them down the floor. And put them in a viable place. Let's say here. There will be my area here. And we'll put a medic here. Combat lifesaver. So I'll be able to... Uh, First of all, for the ambience, but also if they're not going to heal their own men inside this zone, I'll be able to do that for them, controlling this guy. And let's, uh, just for the thing of it, put a mat, um, some sleeping mats to simulate like uh, areas where you treat the wounded. Because why not? All right. So let's have it here. We can even, if you want to be fancy, and if I want to show you that kind of thing, these are not floating, right? No, okay. I can put a guy here, let's say, and assist an auto rifleman. Uh, he's been hurt and this medic is treating him. So let's put him here. And what we're gonna do is go to AI, Behavior, ambient animation, and we're going to have him wounded, combat wounded, wounded, let's, wounded chest, why not? Okay. Oh, oh, he's squirming too much, I don't like it. No, 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 no. Stop the animation. I did say stop the animation, but uh, let's see if another one, there you go. Another one will bypass it. Let's do combat wounded. All right, that's much better. Okay. Now this guy will get a different animation uh, to treat wounded. There we go. All right, he's treating him. And basically when they bring their own guys, I'll just take control of this guy and he'll stop doing his animation pretty much. Okay. Uh, so that's just a tiny bit of ambience. We're going to also place an officer here who controls this area. Maybe he'll talk to them for me. And the last thing, we'll basically do the same thing I did on the other end, which will be to garrison all of these guys. And then safe stand. And we'll just uh, put them in locations that make this space look populated. Uh, again, a lot of times these things are about atmosphere. And uh, you kind of need to make sure that it's being delivered in the way that you want it to be. Um, you're going to be standing here. Or just docking, whatever you want to do. It's fine. Um, and you are going to be on the top. We have... That's it, I think. This guy's in position? Yeah, he's in a good position. I'm fine with him. Okay, so this is going to be our Cam Maxwell. Now, uh, in order to mark for the guys their locations, we're going to have uh, the HQ symbol. I like to use these kind of symbols and call it... Uh, What's the name of this thing? St Storogos. Storogos. HQ. <clears throat> and we're going to have... Uh, Maxwell FOB. 
All right, so these are the two locations that are important right now, pretty much. Uh, we're going to have two more, like, um, locations. Uh, there is, like, an installation kind of thing. I'm going to make sure that they understand where the NATO installations are. I'm not going to give names for those, so I just want them to see where uh, we have our positions, pretty much. LZ Connor as well as ours. So all of these positions are ours pretty much. Now this is the enemy HQ that we're engaging. So let's have it set as this. Uh, this is the enemy position and we got an enemy installation right here. No, this is the wrong one. Oh, this wasn't the wrong one. So well, hold on. This is an installation. There we go. What am I putting there? I don't know. There we go. <clears throat> installation. And if they finish those missions, uh, we're going to pretty much start sending them to areas here. We should have a pretty fortified area somewhere here. And this is a big infrastructure area. So we're going to give a couple of symbols here. Uh, just to kind of signify the positions enemy have in the region. I even if they don't get to them. It's pretty important for them to know uh, their next uh, targets and locations. So this pretty much makes you, gives you a strategic map kind of thing. All right, so now we are going to start populate for the enemy here. Uh, now I want this attack to be a bit more heavy and therefore enemy will have a bit more heavy stuff. Well, let's start out with a couple of things. First of all, in the past we had positions here. I want a mortar position. So I'm going to go to the groups and find some uh, all the mortar placements that I have. Uh, I'm going to choose whatever feels right for me. Uh, what do we have here? This looks a bit more serious. I like it. Um, is this an enterable building? No. Okay. Well, let's have the mortar position. Uh, no, we don't want it here. We want it the furthest away from these guys. So let's place it here, like so, and put it here. Okay. Anything I need to edit here? No. We got three mortars, we got supplies, and we got a neat little vehicle parked. Which is a neat feature, uh, but since this is already a base, I'm just going to move this to an area where I feel it's more appropriate just to have like a parking lot for this vehicle. There we go. I'm going to leave this open like so. Uh, so they'll be able to see the mortar guys if they get uh, close quickly enough. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Now we want an AA position as well. Uh, empty, go to empty, then you'll find it. Uh, the same spirit. Uh, we're gonna put it next to the top here somewhere. So I'm gonna kind of disassemble the elements that they give me here. And the net has died. Uh, who cares? Delete the trash that we usually have from ZEC for some reason. Uh, let's kind of use this element here that he made. That's what I like to do with ZC. I like to uh, kind of break down the camps that he made and uh, use the bits that I want from them. Um, a lot of times, sometimes I just use them as they are because they're pretty good. Uh, I mean, of course, I will say that they're very, very good. But sometimes you just want to move them to be different. Uh, you want to diversify a bit. You don't want your players to too much to be familiar with the structure of like uh, the, the placement too much. All right, so we got ANS, we got this. Uh, anything else we want to build here? We want some sort of uh, a bit more fortified area, definitely. Let's uh, go and check what we have here. We got fortifications, small fortifications. We got some bunkers and cargo posts. Uh, let's put a couple of areas that will make it difficult to get there. Uh, for example, here on the road, 
Uh, I do want to have a bunker, an off-road bunker. Let's see, what is this? No, this is a small bunker. I want a big bunker. This is small bunker. Small bunker. Small bunker. All of them are small. All right. Uh, what is this? Just a fly on concrete. Oh, this thing. Okay, no, not interested. Um, bunker, bunker, bunker. This is bunker small, so this should be a big bunker. No? This, this says bunker small. Bunker or dual. Let's do this. What do we got here? Okay, yeah, I like those types. I like the dual ones. The duals are really nice creations. Uh, so let's put it here. Uh, they're pretty much good position for this. They don't see too much, which is fine by me, but they do guard the roads uh, leading up to here, uh, which is fine. Yeah, 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 this is fine by me. Uh, and we're gonna put the... a lot of times this area lacks a lot of fortification. Uh, which kind of makes me feel I need to add some more. Let's have a static AT position. Uh, they should have one. I'm pretty... I feel confident about that. So let's put a static position here. And it will face toward the NATO base. Um, yeah. Yeah. This, uh, di this guy doesn't have a lot of view from here. Hmm. Maybe we'll put him uh, next to the road here, and that way our friends will have some time to identify him, but also he will have some better visuals and be able to engage them if necessary. Okay. Um, yeah, I think you'll see them if they pass the crest there. Um, so they'll have to be careful about that. Uh, good, good, good. Fortifications meeting. What do we have here? Artillery, no. Cargo tower, no. Mortar bunker, sandbags, razor. What is this? Uh, yeah. Nope, not interested in this. Um, watchtower, razors, vehicle bunker, tower. Let's do... Hmm. Let's do a big bunker here. Um, let's do it here. Okie doke. What do we have here? Where's the front of this thing supposed to be? Yeah. It's supposed to be like this. I think. Yeah, this is not a good placement for this. It's also blocking the road. I know why I'm putting it here. It's not a good idea. It's, uh, here is a better idea, for example. Here will be good. Question is, what am I placing here? No. Yeah, alright. Smaller one, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing this. Okay, good. We don't want the trash. Uh, we'll leave a couple of elements here. I'm also going to connect this. Instead of having it like really, really crooked. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Alright. Um, I don't need the netting too much. There's a dead metal barrel here. Let's remove the netting. They're not ashamed of being here, really. Uh, this bunker has great view. Good. I like it. Okay. I don't need this part at all, really. Uh, maybe just uh, we'll attach it to this. There you go. There could be guards on the outside as well. Um, and I feel like here we have a position that feels like it requires a small bunker. Um, let's have... So this is a big bunker. Why, why, why? Small. Bunker is small. No, bunker, offer. Now I'm spawning the big one. Every time I was looking early, I was seeing a small one, and now I'm seeing only big ones. That is hilarious. Okay, let's put a small bunker here. Uh, let's have it, like, all the way. Nope, nope. Here is good. Here is good. 
I think the the edge bearers are kind of blocking the view here. Yeah, they are. Now well, let's put it here. Let's put it here and have the age barrier uh, attached to the side of it. And delete the trash. We'll put some sort of area here. You know what? Let's move this. Make it look a bit more nice. Alrighty, uh, we got this covered on this side, on this side, I think it's pretty well sorted, all in all. Alright, let's prepare the inside. Now, I'm going to use the function of locking the doors, because uh, I have kind of fell in love with it after making the tutorial the other day, uh, so this is going to be breachable. There you go, all right, all the doors. Uh, I don't want the inside doors to have this mechanic. So this, neither is this one. And we got these two as well. Not, not necessary at all. We want the two external doors to be, oh, three external doors to be completely locked. Uh, we're gonna have a group of officers here. Why am I putting CSAT stuff? Now that I think of it, it should be AF. <laughs> I am an idiot. Okay. I'm gonna put... This is FIA. I'm gonna put a group of officers here. Why are you glitching through the wall? The, the floor. Idiot. Okay. Alright. Well, you don't need to be in the same group at all. I don't need you to do that. Um, compositions. I want some compositions. In here. Advanced composition. Advanced spawn advanced composition. Um, Alright. I want... Office furniture. I want a rack with files. Oh, okay, okay. Chillax. Chillax. This is very unstable. Go next to the wall. Alright, good. I want a rack with printer. Alright, uh, here. Let's have this in front of it. Even though it's horrible with the movement of it, I really want to make sure this looks nice. I uh, want some desk. Let's have a couple of desk areas. These guys pretty much doing some menial work. Uh, whoa, Mr. Desco. Yes, have it on my desk. Okay, joke. And let's have the last desk. Oof. I flew to the corner over there. All right. And we'll have the chief desk here. Hello. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Come on. Help me out here. There you go. Alright. We're gonna have uh, them standing next to their desks. When the guys come in, uh, they'll, it will be after breaching. So they'll be standing with their weapons. So it doesn't really matter. I don't need to place them sitting down or something. Anything else I want to add from here? Not really. I don't think so. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, so this will be the area that they need to take down these guys. We'll put a couple of guards in here. 
uh, to make a CQC uh, area interesting. Uh, let's put a couple of lights, riflemen in here. That will guard this area. Okay, light rifleman. When you place uh, AI like this, separated by group, it makes it a bit more difficult in um, in this type of area, which is why I'm doing this actually. Um, so yeah, this is the reason. Uh, light rifleman. I'm not gonna tweak with their difficulty whatsoever, because there's no need for that. Um, there's going to be enough of them, really. And that's all the setup we do here in Altis. We don't tweak with difficulty. Uh, this is not going to be an easy building to breach into, trust me. Okay. Well, we put a lot of CSAT stuff, uh, which is not good. But we'll uh, just fix that quickly. I don't care about them having CSAT launchers and such. Let's... Um, nah, I don't mind. Let's uh, uh, remove... Remove objects, remove radius. Let's have it 10 meters and we'll remove static objects here. We'll remove them here. Uh, I like doing that so I'm able to see what's going on around these areas. Sometimes I do it in a larger zone, but um, I can just do it one by, bit by bit. It doesn't take too much. Okay. Let's uh, do it here as well, and here as well. Okay, neat. So uh, let's deploy me. Let's deploy me a couple of uh, gunners. 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 One, two, three. All of you will be bound to one of you. And we're going to put you on your positions. There you go. We got some assholes there. Um, let's have just riflemen's one here. And one here. They don't need to be tied to each other. Let's have a rifleman on this position. Um, let's have... Uh, do we have heavy gunners here? I don't think so. We'll have riflemen's or the riflemen's in this kind of bunker area. Uh, let's hope they behave. Worst case scenario, we'll control them just a tiny bit. Uh, let's put a sentry with them. Okay. Yes, glitch through the thing. That's for sure is exactly what I wanted you to do. All right. Okie doke. Um, now let's man these towers. One, two, three. Uh, we got four here. Four. And that's it? That's it? Yes, that's it. Okay. Let's man the towers. So we're going to garrison building. To all of them. Uh, we're going to position... We're going to position a fire team here. Hopefully they'll deploy where I want them to be. Ooh, where did he go? Oh, to the bunker. Well, that's fine, actually. Uh, this is the Grenadier. This is the AT guy. Okay, Grenadier, let's put you up here. They're all looking in the wrong way, but uh, they'll figure it out. Um, let's put some people on the other side. Well, let's do a patrol, actually. Let's do this side patrol. Uh, one, two. Set up pretty quickly. All right. And patrol on this side. Inside the fence. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Um, we'll put sentry standing here, facing this way. We'll put uh, another patrol around the north side. Give them like pattern like this. Yeah. Um, we're gonna put a squad standing in the center. Well, not the center, but here. Basically gonna be safe. We're gonna give the vehicle that needs to be here. An HMG I want over here. And we're gonna man this with a fire team. And that's pretty much the amount of units I want here. I do want another vehicle, a larger vehicle here. Uh, so let's have a an APC gonna have a warrior deployed here um, and we do want some sort of ability to let's put a landing pad here signs how much time do I have not a lot helipad circle here gonna Put a uh, helicopter here. Let's let's actually delete these people so they don't go into the chopper. And I'll just put one pilot next to it. Well, here I'll place it. Let's put two standing talking to each other. Um, yeah, I think that would be enough. Uh, let's go to this small thing here. I need to delete all these markings. Hold on. This... Yes, this is not an HQ for CSAT. It's an HQ for... for independent. And these places... These two places are installations for independent, one, two, and these places are maintenance for independent. Uh, one, two. Okie doke. That should be good. Um, a missing couple of bunkers to man that I have placed. So this thing is manned, this thing is manned, uh, this thing is not manned, which it should be. Let's, I, I think I can man it with a fire team. Let's try. Yes, there you go. And uh, this thing is manned. This thing, let's have just, uh, maybe we'll put a marksman here. Let's put a couple of marksman positions. So put a marksman up here. Can put it instead of the uh, this guy. Doesn't really involved in this. We'll put him here next to the marksman, and we'll put a marksman up here. Have three guys in this tower. One of them will be a marksman watching over there. And here is just going to be a lot of uh, infantry in the same building, really. Uh, we're going to be placing two squads, and I want them all to be like in the barracks. Um, yeah, there you go. That's good enough. Um, we're going to have a vehicle or two here as a backup. So we're going to have a Fennec GMG here. And another normal Fennec in the middle. And we're going to uh, put maybe an officer HQ here. HQ, officer HQ. No, 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 no. This is too big. Too damn big. 
Mm. No, I don't like it. I want a really temporary one. I want a field uh, HQ. That's what I want. Mm, put it here. There you go. And now let's delete the trash and put an officer inside of here. Uh, officer. There you go. And just give him a uh, fire team just being present here. That way they just stand normally. And that should be it. Uh, pretty much we'll set a uh, patrol just a sentry going from this side to this side and then coming back uh, that should be it uh, environment should be set to let's have something a bit more dark this time uh, time's gonna be set to be uh, something like this. If they delay, they'll get into night time. But if not, that it will still be day. And whether I want it rainy. Not foggy, but rainy. Okie doke. There we go. Uh, and now let's create our mission statement here, pretty much. So... Um, objective, custom objectives. Right. Uh, so, uh, the title of this is Stratus Conquest Stage 5. Um, let's see here. Uh, it is time to uh, make the assault uh, of Air Station Mike 26 um, <clears throat> after last month a successful attack on Camp Tempest should be Tempest like this. Um, NATO is holding the uh, air station in high regards and consider it a key location for uh, a successful conquest of the northern part of Stratus. Um, all right, let's do some of this so we have some spaces. And then we uh, say uh, mission. Oh, what's it? Mission parameters. Uh, one. Um, move your forces to recon the air station um, try and locate all important targets ahead of the attack to uh, to begin your Attack most important objectives uh, to go at will be taking down the communication 
antenna to prevent reinforcements from coming and <coughs> destroying the chopper to prevent the officers from escaping. All right, free. Um, take down um, key locations to be destroyed in the camp are a, a nest mortar pit um what else mm -mm 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 -mm. a nest mortar pit um and that's it okay so are the a nest and mortar pits do not destroy the radar as we intend to use it against the AF. Uh, the RBR. No, oh, yeah, I was correct. Four. I. Uh, you will have to breach the officer offices and attempt to capture or kill as many of them. To kill all of them. Or kill all of them. Capture is preferred. Once inside, locate any intel to help the rest of the assault. And five, move to engage and destroy the military barracks camp to the north of Mike 26. That should be it. <clears throat> so let's see how this looks. So you pretty much saw me writing a lot of lines in the same thing and doing BRBR. Let me show you, uh, there you go. It pretty much works. I can space it out a bit more if I want, but this is uh, how it looks and it works great. Uh, so this is pretty much creating a mission. I have to go now in order to uh, start moving into guys uh, So I hope you kind of learned a couple of things on how to populate a simple mission This is pretty much a simple mission. No special attributes to it uh, And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye